Hi guys, it's Kat from Epoxy Designs UK and today I will be coating some beautiful wooden trays with epoxy resin. So I've picked these up in the shops today. Look at this. So I've got one of these. Got beautiful handles as well. I love this. And then I've got this smaller one, which I really like. It's gonna be so much fun. And the last one is this hexagonal shape, a bit like silver handles. So I can't wait to get started with these. So I hope you enjoyed the video. So these are the tray <coughs> trays I will be coating today, just to show you what they look like. And first things first, I always check how those trays are made um, and I buy them because where the wood is stuck together, there's usually gaps. So you need to find where the gaps are and for this hexagonal one, it was just easy sticking a tape down around the edges. Uh, this one was a bit more difficult because it's got like a little lip, so trying to work out how to put a tape on properly um, and then I just push it down into the groove just to make sure there are no gaps uh, because resin will find them and it will leak out um, even with a tape on I usually get leakages so just try and make sure that everything is covered every little gap The tape I'm using is just a 3M uh, painter's tape. I'm using the thick, um, I think it's two inch one, but you can get them thinner as well. If you're choosing your tape, just pick one which sticks uh, quite well, that different types. You just need to try it and work out which works best for you. So I've got my tape down, just checking this hexagonal shape one. Uh, the, the resin I'm using is the Laurish Art resin, uh, which is available on our website. And I'll be using Peacock Bluish Green Pigment, White, Black and Silver. So I've mixed up my resin and just adding it, splitting it into cups. I'm gonna do one tray at a time, so I've just mixed up enough resin for the hexagonal um, tray. And I'm adding some white paste. Um, I will add the links to those products at the bottom of the video. Um, this, is, this white paste is just a white paste I bought online. Uh, black paste I got from China. It's a massive uh, one liter pot, so it will last for a while. <laughs> The, this is the, um, it's like a turquoise, greeny blue color, it's beautiful and it's from the German company Dippon and I'm using the Maron Silver powder and I'm also going to put a few drops of acrylic ink in the white um, resin just to encourage some more cells. A good thing to have when you're doing trays is a palette knife. I, I'm just using a simple, cheap uh, plastic one just to spread the colors around. So I'll start it with the black, just pushing it into the corners with my palette knife. And then after each use, I wipe the palette knife so I don't get any muddy look when I'm spreading the other colors. So here I'm just adding the blue in the middle, popping some bubbles. Okay, there's the blue. And I like to add a little bit in, into my other colors, so I've just put a line through the black, uh, just to blend them in a bit more. And you can see me wiping some drips of the sides of the tray, so if that happens and you get a drip on the side of your wood, it's fine, as long as you wipe it straight away, it just comes off pretty easily, just with a bit of tissue. Okay, I'm adding my white. And again, put a bit of blue through it, 
and then I'm going to blend it with my palette knife. Okay, now um, to pop bubbles, you can use a torch. I I like to use a heat gun first and get most of the bubbles out and just blend in the colors a little bit. Again, I'm going to add some silver highlights. There you go, some silver through it, and then I will blend it in with the heat gun again. Unfortunately, this hexagonal shape tray was not level, so I did all this work just to find that the resin just flowed to you know two sides and ended up with hardly any in the middle and also I had loads of bubbles coming up after I finished um, putting the resin in a tray so I've decided I'm gonna prime the other two wood trays first before I put the resin on just so I don't get any bubbles coming up so the hexagonal tray I've just covered it up so not much dust can get to it but I will have to redo it because as I said the resin just flowed to the sides and it just looked horrible in the end the primer I'm using is this land 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 Leyland trade <laughs> acrylic primer it's really good it dries in about half an hour I'm just helping it a little bit with a heat gun and it doesn't smell at all. So again, using silver, white, the turquoise, bluey color, and black. And these two trays are pretty level, so shouldn't have no problems. So I started with the black, blue, and then white at the end. And just blending the colors in, pushing it to the sides with the palette knife. I quite like um, adding the colors sideways, but you can do them straight, it's just up to you. Uh, adding the silver. and blow the bubbles warm up the resin and when the resin warms enough you can then blow the colors and mix them together to create your artwork i've covered the bigger tray just not to get any dust in it and just doing the same with this little one that's my favourite, it's really cute, this little tray. Okay, another drip. Might be quick. <laughs> and just blend the colours together. Silver. And again, using the heat gun to pop bubbles and create some patterns and blend the colors together. Always when you do this, then I'll look at, uh, you know, the uh, patterns and the picture, oh, some dust. And then you can add little dots here and there, just to give it more interest. I've added the blue and it's just sunk to the bottom, so I just, all right, I'll just add some, a little bit more white. And then just let the resin uh, do what it does best and cover it up prevent any dust going onto your uh, artwork 
And these are the finished trays. Um, they are absolutely beautiful. They are still curing. And uh, the last one, the hexagonal one, is the second layer I had to redo. Uh, this one came out absolutely perfect. Uh, I just used gold instead of the silver. Um, but I love this tray. Okay guys, thanks a lot for watching. Hope you enjoyed the video.